Europe might suspend Israel from the world's largest scientific research program, Horizon. They're trying to punish Israeli scientists for conflicts they can't really control. But hey, Horizon, before you hit that boycott button, let's remember the cost of cutting Israel out of science. Right now, Israeli biotech companies are developing targeted cancer therapies that could replace chemotherapy and save patients from brutal side effects. At Bar Ilan University, researchers are working on groundbreaking nanotech to reverse early stage Alzheimer's using neural regeneration. You're really gonna cancel that? Carbon Blue, an Israeli clean tech startup, is designing a way to pull carbon out of seawater and lock it up as solid rock so it never goes back into the air. It would literally help cool the planet. In the Israeli desert, scientists are engineering drought-resistant crops that grow in places with extreme heat. It could help Middle Eastern and African nations use more of their land to grow food. Meanwhile, teams at Tel Aviv University are using AI to combat antibiotic resistance, fighting superbugs before they spread. They're also using EU satellite climate tracking initiatives to better predict natural disasters before they even happen. Without it, you delay life-saving data globally. These are all active collaborations between Israeli scientists and European teams under the Horizon framework. See? Scientific boycotts won't bring peace. It won't rebuild Gaza's future, and it won't stop terrorists from attacking Israel. It just sabotages innovation that saves lives everywhere. Kick Israel out of Horizon, and the whole world loses. Share this video if you want cures, not cancellations.